All right, so we usually don't start so far out on the approach, but this is one of the funnest and admittingly slightly nerve wracking approaches into an airport. And we wanted to show you why as we visit Flaybob Airport in Riverside, California. So you might have noticed we're starting on the upwind with the airport to our left. And there's a reason for that. There are suggested pattern entries. And one of those is that when coming from the east, like we were, to enter on the upwind. We'll provide a link to approach procedures in the description below, along with our usual barrage of other useful information. So a little history on the airport. It was established in 1925 by Flavio Madariaga and Bob Bogan, hence the name Flaybob. You guys have no idea how many times it took me to say those names and I probably still got it wrong. The airport is privately owned and if you take just a few minutes on their website, you'll learn really quickly that they have a lot of events for both veterans and aviation programs for kids under the age of 18. Playbob is a non-towered airport and has one runway, 0924, at 3,190 by 50 feet, which is plenty long unless you have to worry about density altitude, which at our temperatures lately reaching 115 degrees, which is very out of the norm, and density altitude to nearly 5,000 feet on a 767 foot elevation runway. Well, if you're flying in that, you either have a plane with AC, which I'm so jealous of, or you're training. Either way, you're the real heroes. Oh, and there's no automated weather, so definitely use Riverside Airport ATIS since it's only about three miles south. But here it is, the reason we learn power off 180s. Well, not really, but you literally head toward the big piece of rock called the Mount Rubido before turning base. A friend recently told me to make sure to shake the hands of the hikers as we pass the mountain. I know on this day, my wife could see some people sitting on the bench. So yeah, you get pretty close, or at least it feels that way. So now I'm setting throttle to nearly idle and I'm at a 25 to 35 degree bank the whole way. Flying Hannah for about 350 hours, I feel completely comfortable doing that with her. But if you don't feel comfortable doing that and still want to visit, going around the hill is an option. Just make sure to report your position in case someone else is in the pattern. Oh, and yeah, those tire marks are from a recent event called the Race of Gentlemen that includes drag racing the runway, which is pretty cool. Another one of those annual events that they have here. Information link in the description below. Seriously, one of the funnest approaches to do. Shout out to my friend, former CFI, always CFI, Justin for teaching me to do that during my PPL training. I was nervous returning today, but I was sweating bullets that day as a student with him. Good times. One additional note that's kind of confusing. The website for the airport says traffic pattern altitude daytime is 700 AGL and nighttime is 1000 AGL and behind the mountain traffic but currently the NOTAMs are stating that the airport is closed at night and the gates are locked at 6 p.m. So plan accordingly. Compass Rose right here in front of us on the ground is going to be repainted in a couple of weeks by the San Gabriel Valley chapter of the 99th. So many thanks to them. 
If it's not too hot and you want to have a picnic, they have a sitting area under those trees on the left. We kind of discovered this when we just walked the airport. Now, the only transportation available here is rideshare because you're in Riverside, so there's plenty of those, but that's about it. Now the restaurant is really good and it's conveniently located right in front of transient parking. And speaking of parking, looks like there is plenty of it. It uses ropes for tie downs, so make sure to bring your own straps if you aren't comfortable literally tying down your plane. The building on the left is the admin building and it's closed every time we go, but we only go on the weekends and we found out it's only open on the weekdays during business hours. All right, so in summary, it's best to use the established entry patterns outlined on the website. Downwind faces directly into Mount Ribido. Short approach traffic pattern altitude is 700 AGO. And there is no automated weather, so use Riverside's ATIS. The departure can be a little tricky since you need permission from Riverside to transition to the west. So a suggestion is do a box climb until above pattern altitude, then reach out to Riverside for the transition. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been really positive feedback and really hope it's made visiting some of these airports that much easier. But until next week, go fly, go discover.